Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My brothers and I had wonderful Christmases growing up. Uh, I have two younger brothers, Adam, who's the middle child, and Ben, who's the youngest. Uh, we had uh, quite a variety of holiday traditions. My dad would take us out independent of one another and give us a small budget to get gifts for each other, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, the tradition of going through the catalogs on Thanksgiving Day. And, I mean, like, catalogs, actual printed catalogs. It used to be about maybe maybe about an inch thick, maybe a little less than that, you know, for stores like Sears and Montgomery Wards and J.C. Penney. And all of these stores would have a variety of products, uh, potentially, you know, clothing or furniture or, you know, home decor. And inevitably, the toys would be in the back. You would always find the toys, if there were any toys in that catalog, in the back. I don't really know why they were always in the back. They just always were. And based on the products we would find there, or certainly the products we would see on television, you know, during commercials that you couldn't fast forward through, fast forward wasn't a phrase in our vocabulary at that point in time. Uh, or, you know, toys that we saw in the store when we would go out shopping for various and sundry things. Um, this is how we would build our holiday wish list, and, you know, our list for Santa, and say, oh yeah, I'd like, you know, the shuttle Tidarium, you know, I would love the Millennium Falcon, I got both of those, not the same Christmas, uh, I got them on different Christmases, or I'd want a bike, or I would like this, or I'd like this, and Santa always did a really good job, I got I got hand it to Santa, he always did a fantastic job, but certainly, building a wish list these days is so much easier, I mean, yes, getting product, to your house or wherever you ship it to is so much easier thanks to the internet. And uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I can't tell you how exciting it is to look at this particular page. Kids are gonna love it. Adults, I think, are going to love it even more. Amazon.com has set up a, uh, a holiday toy list, and we'll be sure to link directly to this, uh, not only in the show description, but also in the show notes. I think before I started the video, I pasted the link in there, so if someone wants to copy and paste it in uh, for chat right now, that'd be appreciated. Uh, what you've got here on the uh, Amazon holiday toy list is a chance to navigate a series of columns that... Uh, have a variety of toys so I can browse according to age or price uh, like 0 to 24 months, 2 to 4 years, 5 to 7 years, 8 to 11, big kids 12 and up, 5 to 19, 20 to 29, so on and so forth. And what's neat about it is you can browse this in a three-dimensional interface. You can click and drag and each one of these products uh, has got more information and if you click to get more information you get a video. And then, of course, you can see more information, and you can buy, and you can hit escape, and you can browse using your cursor. Uh, and they've got uh, products, like I said, of, of all shapes and sizes, all prices for all ages, and they're completely, I mean, in, in each particular section, they're kind of randomized. So no matter what kind of toy you're looking for, um, chances are you're going to get a few ideas about what's new or at least what's out there these days. Uh, and they've got a few products that I think I would like. Um, there's something for astronomy. It's the it, that's the Sky Scout. The uh, I think it's a si Sky Scout. Yep, the Sky Scout from Celestron. So I click it, get more information. I can see With ratings. The Sky Scout. Yeah, thank you. Boy, that was loud. Uh, so obviously toys, some board games, uh, toys that I had no idea existed, toys that I did know exist, a few gadgets uh, sprinkled here and there. Certainly a lot of brands, some sporting goods. It's just fun to play with. I mean, n not not just fun to play with, but I love the fact that when I click one of these items, I get to watch the video right there. Get the ratings, get the video, click and buy. Man, if the catalog experience was like this when I was younger, I don't think I would have gotten anything because I would just be stuck playing with this stuff. I mean, I, I, you got to understand. I mean, like a computer for me was like, well, I remember my brother, I think he was in the second grade. He got an Alfie. It was this robot-like thing that had little cards you can pull in and out. It was an Alfie. That's what it was called, Alfie. And then I remember my cousin got a Merlin. It was like this red, long device that you can press. Bloop, 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 and it made sounds. And the only game I could ever really figure out how to play was tic-tac-toe on, on, on the Merlin. Uh, and then I remember getting um, a, 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 like it was a computing-type device. Uh, it was... God, what was the name of it? It was like an owl. It, it was an owl, and I remember... Oh God, 
And then, oh, I remember the speaking math. I got the speaking math because I sucked at math. I still suck at math. My brother Adam got the speaking spell, and Ben got the speaking read. And we all had the speaking whatevers. Uh, boy, this, we didn't have this. This is exciting for kids and adults. I mean, it's just an engaging way of showing you what's hot, or certainly the, the big sellers or what they happen to be promoting this year. Uh, I can't say that every product on here is amazing. I mean, but it's the experience itself that I think is just going to draw you in. Even if, even if you don't think you would want to look, you want to look at this. It's a really dynamic way of shopping for products. If you're looking for discounts on anything before you do buy, of course, I've been posting uh, coupons regularly in my blog at chris.perillo.com. You can also go to chris. Or I'm sorry, coupons lockernome.com and in fact there's a coupons link at, at the uh, at my blog at chris.perillo.com at coupons.lockernome.com you can search for products search for brands search for stores and save money you might as well do that and I know Black Friday is coming up and we're going to be posting even more stuff there uh, there's always savings at tagjag.com t-a-g-j-a-g -A -A -G. you can do searches uh, there uh, and get discounts uh, for, for a variety of stores and, and products, whatever you happen to be searching for. Just don't buy things right away. Amazon's got a good experience. They may not have the lowest price. They may not have a rebate that could save you even more money. So that's an important thing to keep in mind when shopping for anything. Uh, I mean, especially during the holiday season when you do want to save money so that, well, you can save money because we all know that we're probably going to spend money in the holiday season. Uh, hopefully less, not more, and that's the idea of potentially saving you a little bit of cash. So uh, kudos uh, to Amazon for putting this together. It was a, a fantastic experience. I just loved it. Even though I wasn't interested in half this stuff, I still watched the videos for them. I sat in, for an hour watching commercials because it was just a fun experience. Just going and browsing. and I had a catalog. It was printed. Like, and that was all. You could not, if it did not exist in the catalog, it didn't exist. Crazy stuff. Am I the only one? I mean, I may not look 35 years old, but that's my generation. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just referred to it as my generation. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm 35 years old. Do kids still browse printed catalogs like that? Is it just me? Maybe it was only me. I don't know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you have other like uh, catalog ideas that you've seen floating out there that you've appreciated, you'd like to pass along. I'd be interested in, in taking a look as well. Uh, and you're also uh, more than welcome to stop by geeks.perillo.com if you've got a wish list you'd like to post. Maybe some things you're keeping your eye out for. Maybe you're looking for product recommendations. Plenty of things to do at geeks.perillo.com, like posting photos and videos and in the forums and you can post your own blog and you got your own profile avatars photos it's the list goes on and on i mean it's it is a full-fledged community site uh, that was built in conjunction with this chat room here that is a part of this live video experience it doesn't look very lively i'm sorry pixie i was ignoring my dog and she decided well we'll go afterwards she wants to go shopping for uh her brother her wicket uh they I take them out as the hol uh, the holiday tradition I had when I was growing up. My dad used to take us kids out. Now I take my kids out. They just happen to be dogs. Okay. Nothing really happens. I mean, we walk around the store before we get kicked out. Pixie's really antsy right now. But the chat room's not very lively because apparently it got moderated at some point. Either that or it's just, it's just me and Dayu that are awake at this time of night. No, there's 409 people watching the live stream. It's just that we've... We've got a lot of <clears throat> excitable kids in the chat room right now. You're more than welcome to join us if we're, you'd like to. We're typically talking tech, hardware, software, product reviews, you name it. It's usually happening. Streaming through live 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.